We're about to attempt the impossible. We've got Melissa. We've got Randall already crying back there. Lucia. We're driving cross country. Across the East Coast. What are we doing? Let's do it. What are you eating? Oh my goodness, Melissa. We're 10 minutes into the trip and you're already eating. I'm so hungry. It's our teriyaki madness leftovers. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's stanky. I don't care, I'm so hungry. I think this is gonna be our whole drive. I do, yeah. Okay. I think the whole way, all the way to New Jersey. Uh, still raining. Still at it, four hours in. That's an hour behind. Oof. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet boy. Just started listening to a podcast. We've been into Lewis Howes lately. It's one of the go-tos on our road trips. Just because it's like a little bit of personal development. We're learning about relationships now. Like holding on to wounds. Yeah. And emotional what? Like maturity? Intel maturity. I was gonna say intelligence, but yeah. Mat maturity. maturity. We're in our final hours of sunlight here. Melissa is taking us through Virginia. And we'll probably switch once it gets dark because she can't see well. So and then we have three more hours left. She said, says we should get there at like eight o'clock now. I think we're here, girl. Randall, we're here. We have made it to Harrisonburg, Virginia. At our hotel. And we are ready to get out of the car. I know both of them are just, they've been champs, but they're definitely ready. She's like, I need to run my little legs. All right, let me go help Ryan. Oh, there's the car. We made it in the hotel room. These lights look like we're in like a fishbowl. Like, <laughs> you know how fishbowls have like purpley blue lights? Yeah. They're just like. And these are only lights in this room? So weird. And then that one over there. No way. Wow. This is our fancy room. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's blood oh, yeah, splatter. <laughs> Thank you. In our bathroom. Ryan's not too concerned about it, but like, do we report that? What if our room is now connected to a crime and there's my hair everywhere? Maybe we could get a refund. I don't know. And there's like, this, I don't know. I don't even wanna sleep here, but I'm sleeping above. Above the covers? Are you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna remember that when you get cold. Like, oh, that might be from Lucia. Okay, she was just up here. Oh man. We're here. The pets did great. So we have a little development in our journey. My mom called and said my dad tested positive for COVID. So because we have the wedding on Saturday and we know that he tested positive, we're gonna go to our family's lake house instead of my parents' house in New Jersey and just spend some time there so that we don't catch it, we don't spread it, we're not like associated to it and Hopefully he feels better before we leave so that we can see my family and have some family time with them. Um, but that was a little like, oh no, what do we do? So we're very thankful to have this house and be able to stay there. And then our hotel, uh, the one that we're staying at the night of the wedding is pet friendly. So we're gonna bring Lucia and she'll be by herself for like five hours and then at least we'll be able to put her to bed. Oh, money. <laughs> so we'll be able to spend time with her. My parents were supposed to watch both of the pets, but um, Randall will stay at our lake house because he's a champ and can be by himself for the night. Um, so <laughs> he's like the best travel cat in the world. I don't think we could have gotten more lucky with him. Are you hanging out? 
Making it, this place your home? <laughs> You're the best. Mwah. All right, let's get to bed, and then we have about five hours tomorrow, and we'll be at our destination. Good work for getting us to here. You too. Thanks, you did a great job. Likewise. Rumble now. What? I said we're getting ready to rumble now. It's it's 7:49. I don't think either of us got a lick of sleep. Randall was up all night just doing cat things in our room, finding everything that he could find underneath the everything. Lucia was great. She was a good girl. I don't think we're gonna have to like go back and forth of sleeping, taking turns in the car sleeping. And my nose is stuffy. Did I wear pants yesterday? I so. <laughs> Did you wear pants? Um, I was like, yeah, you were definitely wearing pants. You weren't wearing. I was not. My underwear were showing. Are these bed bugs? <laughs> Melissa doesn't like where we're staying. <laughs> Everything is wrong in this place. <laughs> I just am not a fan of hotels or motels or. Always farting her reason. I don't like it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go to bed. 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 I'm gonna have to go to bed.
We're on our way home from Daniela and Jake's wedding and it started snowing. It's predicted to be snowing the rest of the day, so we're gonna have a snow day. Got our cozy coffee. Didn't bring any warm snow clothes. <laughs> no, we were not expecting snow this trip, but it's a pleasant surprise. We're spending the week in the Poconos. Hopefully it snows more. We loved, when we lived here, it snowed, what, like five inches? More than that. More than that, the whole time we were there, or in one day? That one day, I don't know. I feel like it was like a foot. It was a lot more of snow. More than a foot. And it was really fun to play in. And now that we have Lucia, I want her to experience snow. She was like a few weeks old when we had our first snow in Tennessee, and so she like didn't really know what to do, but I think that now that she's older, she'll <laughs> love it. She'll go nuts. But we did forget her booties, so we'll have to just make sure she's not out there for too long. This week's gonna be fun. Yep, excited to just chill at the cabin. Yeah, wow, look at how snowy it is. Wow. This is nuts. I know. Get us out of here. I wish we were on the freeway right now. I know. My favorite part of the snow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eating it. It is so good. I'm the guy when you're skiing, just grab a handfuls and munch them. I really want to go run in the snow, but I have no winter clothes, no winter shoes, nothing warm to change into. So here I am just stuck watching. It's crazy how quiet it is. It's so peaceful. Hey, Melissa, I think I found the solution to this whole no winter clothes problem. We just have, no, of course you can go outside. <laughs> we just don't wear clothes. Or shoes, or we could wear, I mean, we wear underwear. Um, you can do it. <laughs> kind of thinking I might. You're You're a crazy man. Immediate regret. <laughs> wow. No, I got a second wind. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't put my head in. Oh my goodness. 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 Oh my
No, don't do that. I don't want you to get people throwing you. Slushy. Poor guy, and then there's me. <laughs> You're stronger than I could ever be. Thanks. Good work. Every time I watch her like run around in the snow, that song, I'm living my best life, just pops into my head. Her birthday's coming up, should we get her something? I was thinking that bed. What? I was thinking that bed. Ooh, that's a cute house. I like the color of it with the snow. Do you think they're, they're going this way, right? Like in the direction we're going? Oh. It is our last walk in the Poconos of the year. We were planning on staying until Friday, but because my parents are still sick, we're not gonna end up seeing them this trip, which is really disappointing and sad because we haven't seen them since October, but we were anticipating to see them and we were gonna do our Christmas tree set up and kind of like a mock Christmas. So pretty disappointing, but it is what it is. We're gonna leave tomorrow because there's no point in us being here for the next few days. We just wanna go home. <laughs> it's funny that when we're home, we like ache to go and like be on adventures and travel. And then when we're out, we're like, no, we just wanna be home. So that's kind of funny. If this trip has taught me one thing, it is to be flexible with your plans to embrace change. When life yeah. gives you sticks, chase them. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. We're gonna try to do this drive in one day so that we don't have to get a hotel room again and spend two days on the road. So wish us luck. Goodbye, Poconos. We'll see you next year. Did it. We did it. Good work. Oh, exhausted. To Duncan and Wawa. Yes. And the red. GPS says 12 hours on the dot. And with a time change, if all goes according to that, we'd get there at 4.42. Good old Wawa. A true East Coast staple. Got our coffee, our hash browns, our gas, our pets, our Ryan. What? And we're ready to go. Okay. Ready to go. 15 minutes away. Stretch. Can you even see me? Yes. I'm like a, a ghost. I can see you. I'm so excited to be home. Me too. It's special treatment outside of the creek. We made it home! Come on, sweet precious. Come on out. Guess what was turned on? Our Christmas tree. We left it on? I don't think so. I think it just turned on. I think it's on a timer. <laughs> what? Did, did you put it on a timer, Max? No. Well, it was festive when I walked in. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Maybe we... Okay. Did we put it on when we left? There's no way. There's no way. I don't know what happened. Somebody came in and turned it on for us. It's nice of them. <laughs> we made it home with no tickets. 1,600 miles Good in work. this baby's first trip. You did great. You did great too.